Anyway, I can't see any alternative now because I was looking at the, um, the figures the other day showing the graph and if Scotland hadn't been in the UK over the last um, 150 years, Labour, for example, would only have won once in uh, Westminster and that would be in 45. They wouldn't, there's no chance of them ever winning again. I don't think there's any chance. We've obviously got natural resources. Scotland has got uh, gas and oil as well. Wales, I guess, one of our biggest assets is water. And yet again, we farm that out. And here we are paying uh, a, a high price for our own water and suffering a drought and a horse pipe ban. Well, John Elvid Jones, ex-chairman of the Welsh Water, he made it clear that the only reason we can't sell water is because Westminster has said we cannot, uh, definitely allowed not to sell it. Scotland, because they didn't take it in under Thatcher, they can sell their water in England, but in Wales we can't sell it, but they can take it for free and they can sell it on then in England to make a profit. Bullshit. Yeah, I think that's probably something a lot of people aren't aware of. But, uh, Ivion, many thanks for your views today. Thank you. And, uh, by the way, electricity, right? We produce twice as much electricity than, than, twice as much electricity than we use. And they've, they've taken the electricity to electrify the lines in England and they've refused to electrify the lines in Wales. Everything you turn, we need independence. Second-class citizens, it sounds like. That's right, it's terrible. I mean, I was looking at the thing, you know, with this Yes Cymru thing, you know. Oh, I mean, they've got the right idea, you know. There's no doubt about it. Thank you. This is Talk Radio Wales. Right. What's your name? Michelle Williams. Michelle, cost of living crisis. We're speaking to people here today. Some people saying, look, you know, we're really struggling. Others saying, I'm a pensioner, I'm OK, but I feel sorry for the younger generation. How is it impacting on you and how do you think it's going to impact now, maybe by Christmas time when re- you know, people are really struggling to, to put food on the table and heat the house? Yeah, everyone needs to come together as a community and around the world. Twelve people around the world to bring love and compassion and bring loads of love around the children and uh, the old people. That's important for the generation. The government are meant to, to, to partly provide and do that aren't they are they doing their job well Welsh government UK government no none of them are doing their job because at the end of the day if they were doing their job it'd be all love and compassion and we'll all be like a family around the world and it's this time it's about love and looking after each other and that's what life's all about we, we did sort of see an element of that when people came out and they, they, they poured their emotions out about the NHS workers, care workers and so on, clapping and banging pots and pans. That seems to have gone. All right, who I clap for? I didn't clap for the NHS. I clapped for the, for the people who don't get the treatment for cancer and the people out there who don't uh, help the children and the people who don't help the mental health. And that's important to me. As a spiritual person, that's important to me to send prayers and help these children every day and help the world. And we all need to make a difference in the world and bring, like, the olden days, all come back together as um, as as a family. And that's what the life's all about, being happy and being joyful in, in life. So you, th- you would say it's, it's a spiritual thing that, as humans, we have lost part of that. We've lost a certain element of that and we've sort of encompassed a greed culture and a me-first sort of attitude. Yeah, we've lost the faith of uh, Jesus and God and all the faith has gone away from us, but now we need to bring it back and bring the love and compassion and bring, show, show people the light and be happy like I am and be joyful every day and, and show everyone that we're a family and we need to come together as, as a team now to the world and that's what it's about. That's a big ask. Do you, do you, you're obviously got a lot of hope. You've got a lot of optimism. I've got a lot of do, hope. Do you think it's going to happen? Yes, within five years, we're going to change it. And that's what it's about. As spiritual people, we're here to grow and show the light everywhere and shine our light around the children, help people. And that's what I do every day with my spiritual gift, help. And that's what I love doing, helping, giving love out. I've raised money for the children's hospice, but now it's my time to send the, the light everywhere and shine everywhere and help like the old people, help the children and show everyone that love needs to be around us every day. Well, your energy is fantastic and I can see the light shining off you as we stand here in a rather dull, dull day, cloudy Burry Port. But Michelle, many thanks for speaking to us. Oh, thank you. So... It's going to get better and we're all going to get together as a community and the world and that's what we're going to do. And we're going to shine our light. Every person needs to shine the light now and bring love and compassion 
and that's what life's all about being happy within yourself and being joyful and that's everything I can say a great message thank you thank you you're listening to life stories on talk radio wales the people at the heart of your community telling it as it is